I think his career speaks for itself at the moment. What he did last year, that grand final. Pronger with Cleary, Dummies, Cleary gets through. Where's the support? Back on the inside, Leona with the try. I think that last 20 minutes, I reckon he would have had, you know, 30, 40 touches of the ball. Penrith find a retort. Cleary on the back of points, once a 40, 20. Oh, he oh, might have nailed it, Nathan Cleary with an unbelievable play. The and then that winning try obviously sealed the deal. It, to be honest, I, I thought they, they should have went right at the time, but the biggest stage, the most pressure, give it to your best player, and you just see what he what he come up with. So it goes to Cleary, Nathan Cleary. Oh! Wow! Cleary's done it all himself. Well, what a try! Helps the save. You don't have to look back at the grand final last year. Oh, mate. Um, I think you could pick a number of reasons. Cut, uh, Cleary, Cleary into the hole and a try. If you have someone that's that confident, you'd do anything for him. When you know he knows what he's doing. It's an inside ball to James Fisher Harris and oh, around man. the corner to Sorensen. I think a lot of halfbacks do similar. It's more just the execution he does it at is, is, is always 100%, and he, na he nails the big, big moments, which not all halfbacks can do that. Cleary He's got different tempos in his game. He can play fast or you know, if he needs to slow down, he can control the game real well. And I feel like that's what the great players do, especially in their position. Um, Cameron Smith used to do it a lot and I feel like he's got it now. You can look at some other really talented freaks and you just say like, well, let's stop them touching the ball as much as possible or take away their time with the ball. But he just kind of commands his team around and some of how he's able to be so good so consistently, I think, is that people can't really stop him. Cleary bobs up, may have been touched by Granada, not sure, and they're going through where Martin played it. As Cleary kicks it very deep, and oh, he's got it, it bounced over Thompson's head. He lost his bearings. Just this kicking game, I think, is huge. I mean, you don't realise in our game um, how much that can swing momentum or uh, help with possession. Oh, well, you, he, he puts you in the corner, bro, where most players don't want to run the ball. Cleary's going to kick on tackle four. It's a brilliantly weighted kick to the in goal, and Warbrick is snookered. You've always got to be on your, on, your, on your game in the back. Early kicks, floaters, just pinpoint kicks in the corners. Um, he has all that in his, his weaponry, and um, you know he just puts, puts you in tough positions at the back. I think his record speaks for itself with the Four grand finals, three premierships. He's been Penrith's best player. He's the Australian seven. He's the New South Wales seven. Um, yeah, it's, he's sitting on the throne. <laughs>